have Balash Sonka in the studio. He's just drawn his game with uh, Nino Batsyashvili. Tell us something about the game, Balash. Well, I'm a bit uh, upset uh, with uh, myself because I think I have made uh, 27 uh, good moves, but uh, the real mistake I made was uh, spending so much time on natural moves, so I decided to offer a draw in. I, I was sure that I'm still better, uh, but I had two minutes for 30 moves. So, yeah, I was hoping for, uh, for getting a, a normal position out of the Italian, which I did. Uh, I anticipated that uh, she liked this plan with bishop e6 uh, in the Italian and fe, and I uh, made some preparation. And uh, it's not uh, that much move by move, it's mainly about plans, which I, I think I executed quite well uh, in the game. But then, then I failed to convert. Yeah. You've scored one and a half out of two which at the moment is the best score on the men's team. Well, it's quite What's sad. What's happened to you or your colleagues? Well, it's quite sad to hear that uh, one, one and a half is uh, the best score. Well, uh, I don't know, uh, to be honest. Uh, I think there were, we were doing fine yesterday, uh, but then it turned around and uh, also today uh, there were some up and downs and uh, not in our uh, favor. All right, are you going to have a team meeting to talk about what's, what's gone wrong so far? Yeah, after two days, mess, for sure, there, there needs to be some changes yeah. made. Well, you only have one reserve player, so you can't have mass changes yeah, like I mean, a football uh, team. Yeah, I mean, in our play, not, uh, not in our uh, lineup. So we believe yeah. in uh, our players. Yeah. Okay, more seriously, how, how are you enjoying time in Gibraltar again? Uh, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude first uh, to Stuart and then to, to, to Laurent for uh, inviting me. It's a great pleasure uh, playing here. Uh, well, half a year ago, I wouldn't have imagined uh, playing in a prestigious uh, event like this. And uh, therefore, I uh, tried to do my best. I did uh, some preparation before the tournament and uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, let's have a look at your game. Let's have a look at a key position from your game today. I think it was a key position because uh, with white, uh, my optimal uh, setup would be knight f1, knight uh, 1 to h2 and g3 because it stabilizes my position and his uh, knight is uh, cornered on, cornered on uh, h5. So the question is, do I want to take on a7 or not? Because uh, it would uh, misplace his uh, bishop, but actually here I'm not in time because if knight f1 I start with, then there is knight f4 and I cannot push g3 afterwards. So let's say I start with g3. If I have one more move, knight f1 and knight uh, h2, I'm fine, but there is queen f7 and I cannot move because knight is thinking king g2 is a bit, a bit loose. And if I go for rook e3, which is like quite typical, then there is d5. And I cannot move my knight once again because it, hit, it is hit by d4. So therefore, could you go back to, to d... Thank you. My idea was that if he takes on e3, Okay, his rook is not uh, misplaced on a7, but I win a very important tempo, because if he now plays queen f7, I think queen g6 is better, but okay, I'm in time, queen f7, then I have uh, knight f1 and I reach this uh, optimal setup. And okay, uh, it's close to equal, uh, because pawn structure is almost symmetrical, but these double pawns are always source of worry. And the big point, maybe it's, uh, it's not a big point, maybe it's, uh, yeah, one move before. So let's say he, she plays uh, queen f7, then my point is that uh, I have knight g5 based on the fact that the f2 pawn is still defended by the bishop. Uh, so let's say queen g6, I queen g4, and I think she has no tactics and I can go back to f3 and uh, queen exchange, okay, I can get a small uh, advantage. So, but uh, what we got in the game, rook f6, I think it was already critical after I take on a7, d4, and somehow uh, her pieces were uh, not on optimal squares. And there was one more critical position, I, I think after queen, uh, 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 rook a6, uh, 20th move, rook a6. So I reached this uh, very good uh, construction, but I had to be alert on one tactic. I think knight one was good move after all. Uh, so once again, you can see that there are the d double pawns, which I can try to attack. So knight c4 will be the same as knight f4, but okay, let's, uh, let's see b4, it would be very natural to play for b5, but there is knight f4, ef, I'm sorry, gf, ef, rook d3, and at first I checked with this weak engine on chess 24, it doesn't uh, spot, but actually black has perpetual with uh, rook takes, and queen h5, and based on the x-ray, I cannot get away from perpetual check, and I think it's a draw because if she tries to play for more with uh, 
So queen h5 is of course the draw. Yes. But if he, she tries to play for rook f6, then actually it backfires because I only have, only thing I have to do is uh, safeguard my queen with let's say uh, queen d1 and next my rook uh, knight h2. Yeah. So it would have been a good tactic, but uh, so knight e1, uh, I think I was much better after that. But I mean, still there is something like knight f4 takes and knight e5, but it shouldn't be enough because I can keep a blockade with the knights. So I was much better, but uh, I think the only mistake I made in the game was to spend uh, way too much time in, uh, on natural move. And uh, that's why I had two minutes for how much, uh, for like uh, 30 moves. So I offered draw. Um, probably it was not, still not a uh, good decision because my position is simple, but you know, in uh, time scramble, uh, there comes uh, nervousness. And, uh, yeah. But you're on the men's team and you're, you're now four down. Ah, okay, it's, uh, what has happened so far is nothing to be proud of because uh, I think when yesterday after two hours of play I thought uh, there would be 5-5 five, five or we win by one and then actually we lost uh, minus three and uh, today there were some turnarounds and uh, not in our favor so okay, uh, the comeback should be on <laughs> from tomorrow. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.